myself, please, Tim. Hello, uh, my name's Jean Waller and I'm the Centre Coordinator at Ruth Winston Centre in Palmer's Green. Could you uh, describe the Ruth Winston Centre, please? The Ruth Winston Centre is a centre for the over 50s. It's an activity and resource centre uh, running various classes, um, ranging from exercise classes to language classes to uh, computer, IT, that type of class. Yes, that sounds good, doesn't it? It's, it's a wonderful centre. Wonderful, wonderful centre. Wonderful resource centre for those uh, of us who are over 50. Yeah, definitely. Great. So how long have you worked teaching? 27 years. Goodness, that's a long time. Well, could you please describe your role here? Um, I, uh, as I've said, I'm the centre coordinator, so my role is to keep abreast of all the classes that run here, um, making sure that the registers are up to date, that we're in a viable position, um, obviously, everything has to be listed down, money that we take and taking off room hire, that sort of thing, just to keep us abreast of the financial side. That must be quite tricky in this sort of... Well, it's all, done on, times. It's all done on a computer. So <laughs> it's a, it is a matter of inputting figures, but um, yeah, the computer does the manual work for me. Um, but it gives us a total at the end of what each class is um, in a deficit or or a surplus, as we like to see. So, oh, that's good. Have you always worked in jobs that have been involved in the community? Um, no, no. I started off with um, the NUT in King's Cross, and that was an admin job. I took it for six weeks with the view that I was going to go to um, college in the September uh, and start tailoring course, and then changed my mind because I really enjoyed the course, the, the the uh, work at the NUT and I stayed there for eight years until they actually moved down to Bournemouth. So I was made redundant and then I moved to Sun Life doing a similar sort of job, all admin, and stayed there until they moved to Bristol. And then I literally um, was made redundant twice from them because I left, was made redundant, and then they asked me to go back and, work, and I worked another two years and I was made redundant again. And then I left to start my family. So, goodness. So, you've been. So, and then I came, I worked in a play group for a while um, and then came here. So, so, this has probably been the place that you've worked the yeah, longest. Yeah, the longest, yeah. Yeah, the longest. yeah definitely. And it's a very th thriving community centre. Isn't yeah, definitely. It? Yeah. It's amazingly thriving. But it's not so well known is about, it, is it? It's not. Um, and there is always this... Um, unfortunately, people still refer to it as a day centre. Um, oh. And we do try to get that over to people that it is not a day centre. But I'm afraid the the idea is there in people's minds that it is a day centre. Um, but then as soon as people walk in here, once we can give them a guided tour, then it changes all of that. Because so, they see what goes on here. So hopefully we will uh, see some of the classes that are just in action. Yeah, hopefully today, will, which is yeah. a Wednesday morning, and people will see how much goes on. The variety that goes, goes on, on here. Yeah, obviously every day is something different, mm. but um, yeah, today's quite a good day. Yeah, yeah that's good. Um, why do you think people enjoy coming to the Ruth Winston Centre? Um, I think it's very friendly here. Mm. Um, I think it offers a good variety. Um, the fees are and the course fees are not too high. I think it's affordable for people. Um, and it's, it's clean, it's tidy. I think it's welcoming. Um, yeah, I think. And the, the activities themselves are the sorts of activities that people have perhaps always wanted to do and I think, not had time while, while they were working. working. Yeah, I think that's true. And I think, as I say, we do offer a, a fairly good variety. And most and people can try them first, which you can't do at uh, a college or an evening mm. class. You know, you sign up for six weeks, three months or a course mm. and you, you have to attend or you lose your money. But here we will let people try things and it does work. Mm. Um, so that's yeah. what we, we, we try to do. So the first 
course, the first day is usually... First class is usually free. Mm. It does depend. We have some people that hire the room here, mm. like our Zumba, line dancing. Well, they are slightly different. That's their business. Mm. We can't state that they've got to give a free class, but they tend to sort of work along mm. those lines. They let people try things mm. first. And that works very well. Yeah, it does work very well, yeah, yeah. Is there anything that you think is particularly unusual about Ruth Winston or that you think makes it a standout place? I think it's that it has been here for 50 years. I think that's um, in itself shows. And we have changed. Mm. We've gone along with the times and what is required. And we always listen to what people say when they come in. If someone was to walk in and say, have you ever thought about doing this here? We'll always listen and try to see if it's feasible and whether we can do it. Um, and we're always trying to change and go along with um, the times, really. What's, um, what's, what suits and what people want. Exactly. As yeah. in the IT classes. I'm surprised for 50 years, goodness. 50 years. Well, it's actually, it was uh, 53 uh, years uh, fortnight ago. And we must say something, if you could tell us a little bit about Ruth Winston, who set it up. Yes. Ruth Winston was a former mayor of um, the old borough of Southgate. And during her mayoral time, she um, raised money, like all the mayors do, they raise money for a particular charity. Um, she always wanted something in Palmer's Green where she could have a base. Yeah. So this house became, it was for sale. So in 1958, that's what she did. She bought this house for just under £6,000. Um, she kept it going for a couple of years with her little board of um, team, mostly women, mm. um, women that didn't work, you know. Um, and we had clubs here. We had a tea dance and we had whist, those type of things, social afternoons. And she then started Meals on Wheels here. Hmm. Um, and as it went on, it became too great for her board of trustees, really. There weren't trustees then. There was a, just a committee. Friends. So, yeah, definitely. So what she did was she spoke to Enfield Council and offered it, the house to Enfield Council as long as the charity could stay here on a peppercorn rent, and that is still the same today. Oh, that's um, yeah, they still stay here on a, a very reduced uh, rent. So. Well, that's lovely. Thank you, Jean. All right. Thank, Thank you, you very much. No problem. Thank you. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself, please, Yvonne? Certainly. My name's Yvonne Quigley. I'm the Centre Manager at the Ruth Winston Centre. Could you tell us a little bit about the classes that are running this morning? The French Conversation class meet every Wednesday morning and hopefully improve their pronunciation and conversation. The art group work on a six-week course and learn a new subject every six weeks. The iPad course are currently learning how to use the iPad and all of its technical features. How do we know our iPad is connected to the internet or Wi Fi? Mm. Oh. There's a door on your corner. A little thing on the top. <laughs> a thing on the top. So that's yes. the left hand. Okay. Yes. The left hand top of the I can the see. The hairdresser runs a subsidised service. Hairdressing is very important to people, but she's always very busy. Lovely colour. Good. My Ivy. It's nice, Good. very nice. Pilates are currently going through a set of exercises using a set of equipment that we bought as a fund. Out breath, lengthen. In breath, come back. And again, out breath, lengthen. Palm facing down, no collapsing into the arm. Last one. Okay, take the ball into the hand. 
Thank you. 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 Thank you.